Oh, I didn't realize you're alive. Hi everyone. My name is Tyler Manasses. I'm the executive director of Code Day, and I'm here to welcome you to another wonderful Code Day. Now, to make sure that you know how to get the most out of your experience at Code Day, we put together a brief 30 minute presentation, and you can see some of the slides here, to just kind of talk through some of the things that you need to know to make sure that you have a great time this weekend. Now, to start off with, I wanted to talk about teams. Now, I know that some of you are here, you don't necessarily know um, what you're gonna work on or who you're gonna wanna work on it with. That is totally okay, totally normal for Code Day. Now, if you don't know what you wanna work on at the start of the event, we're gonna have a way for people to showcase what it is that they are working on, um, what they might wanna work on or other ideas that they have. And then when you find some of those people that you wanna work with, you can talk to them, let them know a little bit about you, and then if you want to work together, you can form a team. Uh, there's no requirement that you need to work on a team. You can work by yourself as well, but it's encouraged. Hi, it's Tyler from the future. There's no time to explain. We need your help to make cool apps and games this weekend. For example, you might make an app where you press a button and it reverses entropy or a game about landing a manned probe on the surface of the sun. And if you don't know how to make these already, don't worry. There are workshops where people will help you learn how to make it. There are also fun events and activities throughout the weekend, like Code Cup, a hacking competition where you'll work to hack other students from around the world simultaneously. These are very important for the timeline. I don't have much time left. Have a good time this weekend, make something cool, and I'll see you in the future. Oh, you're back. Sorry, I lost you there for a while. I'm not really sure what happened. Um, so I'm not totally sure where we left off, but uh, just to, to kind of dive back into things, we'll wrap this up now and then we'll let you get on your way. I want to talk to you a little bit about judging. Now at the end of the event, people are going to submit their projects to a tool called Showcase, and your event staff will tell you a little bit more about how that works near the end of the event. Um, but you're going to submit your projects and then judges are going to look at them. And we're looking for a few different things in order of most to least important. We're looking for difficulty, most important. How difficult was this for you? If you're a beginner, everything's difficult. But if you're an advanced student, you know, you've, you've done a lot of this coding before, pick a project that's pushing yourself to try something new. Number two, most important, creativity. We want to see cool new things, exciting new things. We want you to work with people that you've never worked with before. Come, come up with cool artistic concepts, add music, come up with a cool story. And then everything else is the third most important, and that's polish. Now, uh, before I turn it over to your local event staff to tell you a little bit more about how you know, the, the specific event is going to go and thank some of the sponsors and, and tell you some of those other things. I just wanted to say, have a great time. The most important thing with all of this, the reason we put Code Day together is because we want you to have a fun and exciting weekend. We're so excited to see what you make. Thank you. And with that, I will turn it over to your local event staff. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Phoebe, here to tell you a little bit about December 2020's Virtual Code Day. First off, if you're not already on the Discord, you need to join. That's where Code Day happens. To do so, just go to discord.gg slash code day and follow the instructions under the link accounts channel. If you don't have a team, don't worry about it. You can just visit the team building channel. Start by reading the profiles there and see if there's anyone you might want to join forces with. If not, that's okay too. You can just post your own private profile and people will contact you. Once you've amassed a team, you need to register immediately at showcase.codeday.org. If you register and include all of your team members, you will be assigned to a mentor that all of you can access. That mentor will be able to help you throughout the event, but we have a bunch of workshops scheduled too. You can check them out under the Schedule Workshops channel. If you're a beginner, you should make sure to attend one of the three Code Your Fo First Game in Construct workshops. 
finally, to submit for judging, you need to upload a two-minute demo video to your team's showcase page before the deadline. I repeat, before the deadline. That's all for me, and now, Hello everyone. Welcome to Virtual Code Day, December 2020. Um, thank you for that great introduction, Phoebe. Um, my name is Lola Eggerman. I am the program manager for Virtual Code Day. Um, so I'm just here to make sure you have a good event. Also joining me is Tyler Menezes, the a currently in the present executive director of Code Day. I may actually be from the past. It would only be appropriate to have all three. Um, hey everyone, my name is Tyler. Um, I can hear myself talking now and that's really confusing. Um, hey everyone, I'm Tyler. I'm gonna be here all weekend as well to help you out. Um, I think Lola is gonna have a few of us introduce ourselves and we just wanna make sure you know, like, you know, we're here. If you have questions, ask us. Um, and uh, we're here to help you make really cool apps and games this weekend um, and have a lot of fun doing it. So um, I'm really excited to see what you all make. All right. Thank you, Tyler. Uh, we also have Erica, who's our marketing manager. Do you want to say hi, Erica? Hi, guys. I'm the marketing manager. And uh, just letting you guys know that I'll be reaching out to some of you for some fun content that we'll be posting on social media. And um, I guess the fun thing about me is I enjoy cats a lot. So if you share a photo of yourself coding with your pet, which I would love, I would love to see some cats out there. Thank you, Erica. Uh, and then uh, JP, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, y'all. I'm JP. Uh, I'm so excited uh, that Code Day is starting. Uh, I'm going to be running with uh, Haley, another volunteer, the Among Us tournament. So if you are looking for game tournaments or any other fun stuff during the event, just make sure to check out the schedule because there's lots of cool stuff planned there. Yeah, and uh, finally, we have Charlie, who is the team support coordinator. You want to say hi, Charlie? Hey, y'all. How's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm the team support coordinator, and I'll be working with the mentors who will be helping you throughout the event and the judges who will be looking over your projects at the end. Yeah, uh, so thank you for those introductions, everybody. So feel free to, if you see any one of us in the Discord, feel free to say hi. Um, we'd love to talk to any of you. So yeah, so welcome to Code Day, first off. Um, just sort of some, some first things to, to get us started with Code Day. You can make whatever you want this weekend. There are very little bound, you know, very little restrictions on what you're allowed to make. It can be an app, it can be a game. You could do something with a hardware project if you have like an Arduino laying around and you can work with whoever you want. You could work with yourself or some friends or meet new people. And also you don't need to finish your project. The most important thing is that you're just trying your best and you're having a good time this weekend because that's, that's what we want. We just want you to have a good time this weekend. So before we go on with that, I just wanna give a huge thank you to our sponsors so we have Splunk, who is a, a sponsor of ours and is presenting the Code Cup event, which is a cybersecurity hacking challenge, and that will be happening tomorrow. So thank you very much, Splunk, for helping us put on that event, helping us put on this event. Additionally, thank you to LexisNexis Risk, Risk Solutions. Um, LexisNexis Risk Solutions will be um, is sponsoring the Big Data Challenge, which is also happening tomorrow. So thank you very much, LexisNexis. Additionally, SAP and Uber, thank you very much for your support, um, as well as other companies like State Farm, PayPal, Auth0, Contentful, DigiKey, Kinesis Gaming, Greenhouse Data, Data Fastly, and WSGR. So thank you very much to our, our partners. Um, additionally, yeah, so let's like, you know, get right into it. So the first, thing that you need to have to participate in Code Day is to have a Code Day account. And you can create one for free in about a minute by visiting account.codeday.xyz. Um, this was not created for you when you register. You need to create it yourself. You might have one already, but um, chances are, you know, if you don't know it, there's no harm in like making a second one. So make a Code Day account 
And then if you're not already in it, join the Code Day Discord. And you can do that by going to discord.gg slash code day. Discord is where all of the events happen, all of the main communication happens, and how we're going to keep in touch with you and you know keep you supported throughout the rest of the event. So we have an account authentication process that binds your Code Day account and Discord accounts together. And this helps us have some extra features like knowing which team you're in and being able to give you a team channel associated with that, um, as well as a few other things. But there are instructions for linking your account in link account, or you can post a message in the Discord or DM me if you have any problems with that and need help with that at all. Um, and so let me know if you need any help with that, but it's, it's a relatively straightforward process. So just make sure to create a code day account, join the Discord, and then link your account. Um, it's that there's the button to create a code day account um, on the account website. So it's kind of hard to see sometimes. So additionally, if you already have a project idea in mind, that's awesome. If you don't, and if you want to try and find a team, or if you have a project, but you don't know who you're going to work on it with, we have two channels that are going to be really awesome for you. So those channels are team building and team gallery. Team building is where you can introduce yourself to other people and try and find somebody who's a good fit for your team. Team Gallery is, has a list of all of the current teams that are that have been created, as well as the creators of the teams, so you can reach out if there's a team you're interested in that you want to join and participate with. And remember, like, don't be shy because somebody has to send the first message to you know have a conversation. And so, if there's somebody who you think you might want to work with. Just send them a message because, you know, they're just as sort of, you know, anxious but excited about Code Day as you are. So, you know, don't be afraid to, to reach out to anybody who you want to work out work with. So if you need an artist for your game or if you're an artist and you want to help somebody with their game or app, um, we also have a channel called Art Collab. And so what you can do there is just communicate with artists and try and find somebody to work with if you need, you know, like character design or something like that. And if you don't know how to code, um, you can come to one of our intro workshops. We have three of them this season, um, and you will be able to, in 30 minutes, know how to make your very own game. So um, speaking on that, the, the schedule. <laughs> so you can check this out on virtual.codeday.org slash schedule, as well as in the schedule workshops channel and schedule events channel. Um, as you can see, those three intro workshops I mentioned, uh, the first one is coming up in about 45 minutes, um, which is right after the one right after this one. And then we have one later this evening and one tomorrow morning, as well as all of the other events that are happening in workshops. So I highly recommend you check out the schedule um, as well as those channels on Discord so that you can, you know, attend these events and, you know, learn something new. We have a lot of, you know, really excellent workshops and some really fun events planned. So if you're a complete beginner, you know, you don't know how to code at all, we, we still have things that uh, you're able to do at Code Day. And so these are just some ideas of what you can do. So you can attend one of those work intro workshops that I've mentioned. You can make the soundtrack for a game. You could design the user experience or UX for an app. You could do voice acting or write dialogue and story. Or you could write the art um, or you could help with planning and, and you know come up with like lore or anything like that. So there are really a lot of options if you're a beginner and you know, you're welcome to reach out to any member of staff if you need suggestions of what you could work on without knowing how to code. So, and if you wanna know what you can make, you can make anything. The options are completely open. You could make a game, you know, a, like a game where you land a manned probe on the sun, a button that reverses entropy. Both of those Tyler noticed or <laughs> Tyler suggested. Um, if you need an idea on what you want to make, uh, our theme this year is for the future. This is a completely optional theme to follow. It's only if you want to follow it or if you need suggestions. Um, so, but if you need an idea for your project, you can use our, our, our theme for the future. So once you have your project in mind, once you know what you're going to work on, or even if you just, you don't know what you're gonna work on, but you know who you're gonna be working on it with, um, you wanna to go to showcase.codeday.org and then log in with your Code Day account that you created earlier. And then when you click new project, 
um, you'll be asked for some information. It's going to ask you for a region. Um, that means where you are, um, not like where the code day is. This isn't really a huge deal. It's only so that we don't have like 500 projects in the same uh, pool to judge. And then you want to, after you've created the project, you want to add the add team members when you know who you're working with. There's no time limit on you know how quickly you need to add them or anything. Um, but yeah, if you know who you're going to be working on, add your team members, or if you get somebody new, add them to your team. And then you can also edit the details of your event as many times as you want to. Pivoting is completely uh, you know okay and encouraged at Code Day because changing ideas a lot is you know sort of what happens when you're working on a project and if you create a project quickly and showcase you'll have access to a dedicated mentor and those we have a limited number of mentors available and those mentors will help you figure out things with your project and you know very like guide you along and instruct you um, there are a limited number of mentors like I mentioned and it's it's a first come first serve process for having mentors so you want to register your project in Showcase as soon as possible. But also that's not to say that if you don't have any, you know, if you don't, if you're too late on registering your project to get a mentor that you won't be getting any support. Um, we will still be uh, able to support you. Um, you just won't get the sort of one-on-one -on -one, uh, mentor to team that you'll get uh, if you have an assigned mentor. We have a few events planned. Um, in addition to the workshop, these are visible on the schedule and in Discord. Um, the big ones are Code Cup, presented by Splunk, which is a cybersecurity hacking challenge where you are trying to hack the other attendees, um, you know, just simultaneously. It's a capture the flag style challenge. Um, it's beginner friendly, so you don't need to be, you know, an information security expert to participate or anything. Um, we're happy to, you know, help you learn. We also have the big data challenge. If you're interested in exploring, you know, what big data really means and, and how to analyze kind of data. And that's pre presented by LexisNexis Rick Solutions. And we also have the two gaming tournaments. We have uh, Minecraft Spleef, that's tomorrow evening, and an Among Us tournament, tournament that is uh, split up. There's the qualifying rounds in kind of the morning and then the final round in the afternoon. And those are both tomorrow. So you can find details on that in, on the schedule and uh, in Discord channels, or you can ask questions about that. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions at all, ask in Discord, because we are going to be here to help all weekend. Um, the help desk channel is your best friend if you have a you know question that you want to ask event staff, or if you are having a coding problem. You know, we don't really sleep, so we will be awake and here to answer any questions you have. So with that, uh, thank you everybody so much for coming to this code day. Um, I you know, wish you the best of luck in your project. We have a workshop coming up here in about 10 minutes, which is going to be how to ask good questions and debug your code. And then after that, there's going to be our first uh, intro to construct workshop for beginners if you want to know how to make your game. So thank you very much to everybody. I hope you have a great weekend. Um, take it easy.